Oh man, crafters, today we are talking about a doozy. This one may go down in history as one of the most delayed and most wanted movie. Well, today I'm bringing you those alleged theories. Let's get into it. Coming in at number 10, the release date. Minecraft remains one of the most popular, talked about, and promoted video games in the entire world. Originally in 2016, the first release date for the movie was announced on May 24th, 2019. And the front of the cover's movie script was shown publicly. As three more years passed, there was many staff and crew changes for the movie, with its directions, writers, visual effects, artists, producers leaving or getting replaced. Scheduled to launch on March 4th of 2022, the film was pushed back over a year ago to make way for Batman. Like, don't get me wrong, I freaking enjoy Batman, and Robbie did do a good job, but while the new superhero flick has landed on schedule, the Minecraft movie never got a new release window. And this blows. Us being the generic public, we understand value over demand, because Batman was more volume brought to them being Warner Brothers, right? Batman got a Minecraft slot, but at least give us a release date. Gosh. Coming in at number nine, Death in Hollywood. Jill Laura Sorbel Messick was an American film producer. She worked as an executive producer on several films, including She's All That in 1999, Frida 1992, Mean Girls 2004 was a big classic for a lot of us growing up in those times. After the Weinstein allegations became public in late 2017, McGowan was highly critical of Messick and Weinstein's lawyer released a private email sent by Messick that contradicted McCown's claims. The publicity surrounding the scandal led to an online cyberbullying directed right at her. Messick died by in February 2018 in a public statement. Messick's family said that she supported the Me Too movement and called her loss collateral damage of a feeding frenzy, blaming Weinstein, McCown, and the media and the public for her death. Honestly, never push anyone over the edge male or female, Me Too movement or not. Cyberbullying is no joke, guys. I've even lost friends to cyberbullying and it's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt or they die. May Jill's soul rest in peace. Coming in at number eight, not to get confused with the Alex and Steve series. Yes, not to get confused with the YouTube series, which honestly, this would be really nice iteration of Minecraft just due to the fact it has a staple grounded story of the couple. They have so many different series and different topics that could be added to the movie. But unfortunately, there's just not much we can do as if you're then just sit back and watch the series and hope the movie will just be as good if not better. And what's not to like about this series, honestly, there's nothing. It's a really good series. Everything is done so well. This is not the movie though as much as we would like to see Mo Yang. And if you're listening to this Mo Yang, take some pointers because Alex and Steve's story and series, they did really well. Coming in at number seven, diamond being the highest tier loot. And we kind of somewhat already knew this. A diamond is a rare mineral obtained by diamond ore or loot chests. They're mainly used to craft high tier loot and armor, enchanting tables, blocks of diamond and jute boxes. In the movie, we won't see them craft to get diamond gear or will they show us? In the trailer, the characters are having these high tier loot, but what about netherrack armor? Seriously, like they are going to take on the so-called ender dragon? Where is the netherrack armor? Like, for real, y'all, you're going to make a movie with all the strongest materials in the game? Let me see some bedrock or even some obsidian. Come on. Coming in at number six, plans to include YouTubers slash gamers, right? We all know there's a lot of YouTubers that are around the web, like Dream, Sapnap, Afmal, just to name a few. Well, theory is that YouTubers may just get a chance to shine on the big screen, let alone these YouTubers, they all have animation and skills necessary to be involved due to the fact that they are gamers and that they are making these videos come true. The games played throughout the years, the man hunts, the haunted houses, the hundred days of survivals, these are staple facts to make a good movie especially when it's based off a game you need to look at those things us as gamers are making stuff happen we got to continue it on continue to flow midway through number five no dungeon screenplay so this movie is about the craft right i get that so Will we see any caves and dungeons? It's a possibility, but one thing for sure that we're not gonna see is wardens or spawners. The warden, as you guys know, is a big boss in itself. So will it be in the movie or with some type of lore or even get to see a spawner with it? 
Honestly, how would this even be iterated into a movie? There is a good theory that we don't dive deep into these dungeons, let alone are we even gonna get to see any looting? I don't think so. Maybe build here and there, but it's just like, there's not gonna be any real good crafting like craft Dinner Mac Cheese. And honestly, I would really like to see some builds. I would really like to see the Warden because the Warden is a scary character and I, we've touched on him so many times. So in the movie, that's another boss. Coming in at number four, could we see Hero Brian? Yeah. Could we see Hero Brian? Hell yeah! With all the voices and the screen actors, Hero Brian may make an appearance. I don't care if this is a good theory or not because the movie doesn't just focus on Steve. So yeah, the option is there, all right? We may get to see Hero Brian. We might get to see the Almighty. Was it Alex Hero Brian's girl? Or so we think? So what's stopping them from adding him to the game? Aside from the fact that he is a creepy pasta and a mystery in himself, which I still believe he's real in my eyes, glasses on or off, the almighty hero Brian will make the movie dirt nasty. He has dope ass powers that can just make him like Darth Vader of the movie. Screw the Ender Dragon, let's get Hero Brian on scene. Coming in at number three, Jason Momoa to voice Steve. Okay, so what is this Aquaman doing playing Steve? Well, he's voicing him, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Jason is a good actor, don't get me wrong, all right? But it he would be better tied to Blue Steve, and you know, guys, we've covered Blue Steve before. Am I right? The protector of water, it seemed like that's to be the perfect fit for Jason. But how about we give the Steve role to a guy that's actually really named Steve, you know, like Mr. Carell, right? He has pitched this theory, pitched this movie from back in 2013, so if anybody gets to play Steve, it's him. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, it's Steve Carell, like, who's the best boss from the office, Michael freaking Scott. That's who, but hats off to Jason holding down a role in this movie. Honestly, to get a role in any movie, it's tough. So, and especially right now doing this whole pandemic, yeah. Coming down to number two, The Return. Storyline without no Steve. Yeah, it's crazy to believe that they were making a movie without Steve. And I mean, he might really be in the game, but here we go. In the age of war, the villagers find Alex, and she is a builder, and the villagers raise her to fight the illagers. The illagers create Steve as a counter, but the two recognize they are the last of their kind, and they go off to discover the secrets of the Builder. Eventually, they defeat the Ender Dragon and free their cousins. A teenage girl and her unlikely group of adventurers must save their beautiful blocky old world after benevolent Ender Dragon sets out on a path of destruction. So really, Steve's not really on the screen much. So the story about Alex saving Steve, so a journey to the end, which we all know about already, but it may be needed. Is Minecraft really Minecraft without Steve though? I, I think not. And finally here at number one, live action versus animation. The movie is an upcoming live action Swedish American film and is directed by Jared Hess, which has done Napoleon Dynamite and Nacho Libre, which Nacho is one of my favorite movies, honestly. So originally stated to be released on March 4th, which we touched on earlier by Warner Brothers Pictures. The date is now unknown due to the ongoing COVID pandemic. This film was originally going to be directed by Sean Levy, but he left the project after disagreements with the Minecraft developers as they thought his idea did not suit the game. The years in the making Minecraft movie from Warner Brothers might be one step closer to becoming a reality as Jason Momoa is in the final negotiations according to Substack Publication, The Ankler, The Hollywood Reporter, and Variety. However, it still seems that the movie might be a long way from actually hitting the theaters though as neither THR or Variety provided a projected release date. Warner Bros didn't immediately reply to a request or comment. For all we got, we got a teaser, Minecraft, the movie. 2022 animated teaser trailer concept HD by youtuber slurp so if it's live action please please do better than the Dragon Ball Z evolution because that was trash all right and if it's animation please look like I said there's people that's on YouTube that's already doing these type of animations keep it like that because we like those stuff with all the music and the songs that I've already done on this channel, you've seen the animations we've talked about. Keep it up. And so there you have it, Minecraft Movie Theories list. I'm Crafting J. I hope you all enjoyed this list. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You gotta champion those who champion you. I'm Audi, and don't forget to ring that bell. Nacho!